The Supreme Court has done it. In one week, they chipped away at the separation of church and state, making it mandatory that the state of Maine pay for religious indoctrination. Um, they basically said New York could not pass gun laws to protect the safety of their citizens, and basically abolished uh, 50 years of precedent in overturning Roe v. Wade. I don't think anyone can argue that the Supreme Court isn't politicized, that justice is not blind, that the Federalist Society has basically hijacked the court. Now, some liberals suggest packing the court, uh, expanding the court. I don't like those terms because they would scare off liberals. Uh, they would scare off moderates and people who might be more into a restructuring of the court. I say depoliticizing the court. And this is the what I would do. Now, they picked nine Supreme Court justices because on well, the Civil War, there were nine circuits, nine federal circuits. Now there are 13. So my theory is to restructure the court with four liberal justices, sorry, uh, four conservative justices and five moderate justices, 13. Now, the uh, liberal justices would be Kagan, Sotomayor, Jackson, plus uh, one to be named. The conservatives uh, would be Alito, Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Comey Barrett. Now, the moderates, and you notice I did not mention Clarence Thomas because I do believe that in this restructuring he should be forced to resign uh, because of his connection with Jenny Thomas and the coup. Now, Roberts has kind of been a little bit of a moderate, uh, upheld uh, the... American Health Act and other uh, more moderate uh, positions. So I think you would add four moderates. So basically you'd add uh, you would add four moderates and a liberal. And I believe that that would depoliticize it because you'd need the moderates to be on your side. Moderate justices who basically see the law and politics does not play a part of it. And when a liberal, a moderate, or a conservative passes on or retires, they were placed by a member of the same ideology bent. So no matter who the president is in office, no matter who controls the House and Senate, if a conservative dies or resigns, he'll be replaced by a conservative. If a liberal dies or resigns, he's replaced by a liberal. A moderate, the same. And we'd still have the hearings, um, and the Senate can still advise and consent, but it takes the political out of it because nobody is trying to win advantage because the advantage doesn't change. Four liberals, four conservatives, five moderates. And I don't know why anyone isn't thinking about this. Because I think it is a perfect answer. It is taking away the advantage of both the liberals and the conservatives. It is moderating the court. And of course, conservatives who will lose power in this situation will scream bloody murder. But I think the moderates would support this. So let's restructure and depoliticize the court. And please push this forward because I am nobody. I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel and a Twitter page. But I think this could work. And I think this could actually save America. Thank you.